I was checking my multiprog. I was trying to write um EEPROM file for this ECU. And now they've brought a new feature. You can see connect. So if you don't connect the ECU, the write and unwrite will still be gray. And this feature that they brought to multiprog is okay because normally when you are writing data, it has to connect to their server before you write and when you are done writing or reading it will disconnect but this feature that they brought in is quite okay but it's not for all ECUs it's for some of the ECUs I'm hoping the next update they do that for all the ECUs because when you are writing data with multiproc sometimes it delays because of the connection to the server and other things but when they do it this way, like ECU connect, and you're able to connect to it, it, it will make it easier. Because when you are writing or reading file, it will not connect back to the server. But it will just, so if you can see, it has now connected successfully. It has now connected to the ECU successfully. So at this point, when you are writing data, it will not connect again. And after reading, so now you can see the read and the write uh, lighten up now. And you can see that you can't go to device selection unless you disconnect it. So you can see reading has become easy because the moment the device is connected, reading, you don't need to connect to the server. I, I said the server, you don't need to connect to the ECU again because now it is already connected to the ECU. And you can see how quickly it was able to read. So now I'm going to write. I'm going to write the EEPROM. I'm going to write the EEPROM onto the ECU. And that's what I'm going to do now. So I'll select the EEPROM that I want to write onto the ECU. Then click on write to write it. So that at least um, you can see during the writing process also first it has, has first it has to connect to the server before you can do anything but now you can see it's just initializing and trying to communicate with the ECU then it starts to write or it starts to read so it doesn't start connecting to the server again and I think if they do it this way it's best because it, it, it saves time yeah it saves time because one time connection and after you are done this the chinese rating that came there warns you that you have to disconnect the ecu before you remove the pins or you even turn the device off so you can see now i'm done reading and writing successfully and let me try and read my flash also and see if my flash so you can see reading the flash itself, it doesn't have to connect to the ECU like it used to before it will connect to the server, before it will allow you to read the data or it will allow you to write the data. But now because of the way they've done it, the moment you click on the connect and you are connected to the ECU and the server, you do everything by the uh, with the machine and you don't need to do that long authentication and other things again so when you click on right but what i've seen is uh, i was able to do it this way with sim 2k i don't know i tried the other ecus and they didn't have this feature i don't know if it's settings or it's something they are working on i'm hoping maybe by the next update they should be able to do that for all their ECU so that it will make reading ECU with multiprog easier and faster because when it has to connect to the server sometimes when your internet is down a bit or is slow it takes much time but with this now it doesn't take that much time again you just connect straight and you are good to go so I think they should work on the on this feature and make it accessible to all other ECUs and that, that that will help so I'll wait for the 
flash data also to finish reading and one thing i've studied is so from the um so one thing i've studied is after this after a year of using this tool or almost a year of using this tool this machine has developed strongly but you you don't have to get only one tool you have to have like two or three ecu programming too because there will be something that one might not be able to do but the other will be able to do so i'll i'll, I'll keep updating you anytime there is any new feature that i think you guys should know of i'll, I'll do that and if you're a beginner and you have this too there is nothing wrong with it you can start with something you start from somewhere so with Multiprog, with this feature, I wish they, they will be able to do it for all their ECUs. So the moment I'm done reading the flash, the internal flash now, it's going to tell me the time it took for me to read it. And the next thing that I'll do is I'll select another ecu so that you see that um this function is not for all their ecu it's like um checksum checksum is not for all their ecus so you can see you click on the disconnect and the read and write goes gray thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos so let me select another ecu for my list and see if i'll have that feature so let me select gym pack continental jpack 2 and the sim 2k2 is also continental you can see i don't have the connect over there thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos